taste. She can get a taste. D love the taste. Worldwide, they gon' get a taste. channel um, today I thought I'd do like kind of a hair tutorial um, to show you how I got this long sleek ponytail um, using a short wig well the wig is about this long like about right here actually a little shorter and I really wanted a long kind of ponytail um, so stay tuned to see how I transformed um, this wig into this hairstyle and maybe I'll throw in the makeup as well because my face is looking a little litty so stay tuned for the makeup guys so this is the wig I was telling you about as you can see it is a short one stops about right here I actually didn't plan on making this video but I did my hair and I really liked how it turned out so I thought hey maybe I should make a video on this so here I am another day making a video so I'm basically gonna recreate the look for you so if you really want to have that long ponytail look but you don't want to um, buy a whole new wig to get that long look or if you don't want to straighten your natural hair because of heat damage or it takes too long or whatever reason I know you can like straighten your hair and then put in extensions if you don't want to do all that um, and you have like a wig at home that's short like this or a little bit shorter as long as it can go back in a ponytail that's fine or if you have like a longer one but you really want a super long ponytail this is the video okay if you have some extensions laying around that you're not using or if you use and you can actually use it to create your ponytail so this is actually this is a bundle up here i believe yeah it's a bundle that i got and I actually created these clip-ins myself so what you can actually do if you don't have extensions you can just get a bundle and create these clippings yourself and these clips you can get from the beauty supply store and they're like maybe a dollar for two or something so you can make the clippings or you don't even have to make the clippings you can keep the wefts as is but i already had these clippings and i wasn't about to take these clips off so i would just make it work okay so i've got three pieces i've got one this size and this size slightly longer and this really long size that I'm going to be using to create my ponytail so you don't even need a lot of hair well actually these clippings are double wefted to make them thicker some other products that you're going to need you're going to need a soft bristle brush a toothbrush for your edges I like to brush out my own edges I'll talk about that later um, a rat tail comb, maybe, maybe not, that's necessary. A brush to kind of brush your hair, get the knots out. And you're going to need some water. So I have this bottle that I filled up with water that I'm going to be using to kind of spray down my hair. Also need some gel, very light gel. I'm going to be using this Eco Styler gel, just the littlest amount because this hair is already like lightweight and easy to pull back with just water. But this is just for like extra security because when the wind blows flyaways this i'm gonna use um just to spray the slightest bit i'm sure you've seen this all over youtube i'm just gonna use it to spray a little bit right in the center here to just keep this part down flat just the tiniest amount that's all i'm gonna do and you're gonna need a hair tie to put your hair in a ponytail and a small rubber band to kind of secure it <laughs> guys don't judge my braids I know I look a little crazy right now but you know I was lazy I didn't feel like braiding it perfectly so yeah don't judge me okay so I just put the wig back over it and this is what it looks like Well, 
I like to pull out the piece of the side right there and pull out a piece of the side right here. Pull that back in a ponytail. I like to um, take out my own baby hairs, brush them out so it looks a little bit more natural. I'm just going to take a little bit of the gel on the toothbrush and I'm just going to kind of brush it out. And you kind of want to just brush out your baby hairs and the wigs baby hairs together to kind of make them flow into each other really nicely like that. That's what I do. Very simple. This is mine. I go like that. I brush a little bit of this out like that. Maybe not like that, but that whatever i will put some spray underneath here just to keep that down some of the got to be good spray then i'm going to take some water and i'm actually going to spray that on my hair just to I'm gonna take the eco styler gel. I'm just gonna take a little bit out, not much, and then rub it in my hand. As you can see, this part is the clippings that I put in early on my braids, and this is the actual wig. So don't worry about the separation because we're actually going to cover that up with this last piece of clipping. This is the longest piece that I showed you earlier. We're going to wrap that around. I take a piece of the scrunchie itself, like that, and we are going to take the clip, unclip it, that, like that, and put it into the scrunchie, like that. And then we're going to take it. Just to show them to your bitches, bitches, so you can make them jealous. Now I know where you get it. Then you start taking those pictures, pictures, just to show them to your bitches, bitches, so you can make them jealous. So now I gotta take this. I just stay out the way I built a lab up in a crib So I don't leave all day You always try to rush out When I need you to stay But don't forget to post a pic Look out with your babe And by the way I see you right through it I let you slide now Cause I know you're not used to it If this is the way it is Don't even put me through it I'm quick to cut it off If you don't believe I do it I'm gonna just take some water and spray it on the ends of my hair. So you can make them jealous. So now I 
just to get the curls cut here and then I'm just gonna scrunch it up like that. And you come late night trying to hide your phone. You know that shit always end up in an argument. Why you always taking risks with me? Mommy close by my waist, take pics with me. Mommy crush Wednesdays, me shit to me. Now let's get to the video. I've already um, cleansed and moisturized my face, so now I'm gonna go in with this Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminizing Moisturizer. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on my fingertips, that much, and I'm gonna dab it all over my skin like that. Then I'm going to take this Mario Badescu um, facial spray, it has aloe and rose water in it and I love it. And I'm just going to spray it on my face. And then I'm going to take my, um, my matte skin tint from NARS, pour a little on my hands, like that, that much. I used the smallest amount of foundation. And I'm going to take my rose water again and spray a little on my brush. And I'm going to take this and like even distribute it all over my skin. I'm just going to rub it out in a circular motion like that. All over. Circular motion like that. And then I'm going to take my concealer um, by NARS. Dab it under my eyes like that. Now don't misbehave I have a lot to learn You've got a lot to burn I don't know if this is always You're always on my mind Now I'm gonna be the time I'm gonna take this um, Armani Luminous Look Foundation In 8.5 It's a little bit darker than my natural skin tone So this is just like a really natural Skin tint like a tinted moisturizer I guess and this is like an actual foundation it's a little too dark but I'm gonna use it on the outer parts of my face so I'm gonna dash the tiniest bit literally and I'm gonna take the same brush and I'm just gonna dab it right here in the corner right here in the corner there and I'm gonna go down and around my jawline like that then so my forehead like that my forehead, like that, and then the side of my nose, it's very lightly, kind of creating like a contour, and then I'm just gonna blend it out. I avoid the fake. Raise your hand if you understand. You're in control of your own fate. I'm gonna take um, Laura Mercier uh, translucent powder. I have it under my eyes. You don't have to hold my hand. I lose my head tonight, knowing that it's all that it's all when I sleep at night. I'm gonna let that sit until I'm finished with my whole makeup. Then we're gonna go to brows. I'm gonna use this. This is my new favorite brow pencil. Um, it's the Tarte in I think medium brown. And I really like it because the pencil is so fine and it's really great for creating little hairs in your eyebrows. Makes it look more natural. I love the things you do. I love the things you do. You do, do, do. 
Then I'm gonna take my e.l.f. brow gel, it's the one with the mascara and the brow. And then I'm just gonna brush it up a little bit. I'm gonna take my eyeliner. Then I'm going into the corner of my eyes and just creating a really small line. Like that. Then I'm going to take the same e.l.f. gel and I'm going to use that the eyelash part. <laughs> Then I'm going to take my mascara, it's um, the Dior Show, and this is just like a sample size. Of I'm going to take that fluffy brush again and just lightly dust off the excess powder that I put on the hair. I'm going to spray this brush. That's gonna give me a little more highlight. I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty um, Matchstick in Rum. And I'm just going to take this and rub it over it like that. And wetting the brush actually makes the highlight pop a little more. So it just gives it a little highlight right there. I'm gonna do it under my brow a little bit like that. Right on here, right over here. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my inner portion of my eyelid just to give me a little shimmer you know I have this this NYX pencil in Urban Cafe and I'm just going to use it to kind of line my lips. Lip is lined and I'm going to use this lipstick by MAC in the color Photo. It is, it's just like a really nice natural brown. I'm gonna take this lip gloss by Pat McGrath in Flesh 4. I'm just gonna take a little bit and dab it on. And I'm actually gonna take a, a lip gloss by Bobbi Brown. It's a very clear lip gloss. You can use any one. And then just pat it. And that's it. So as you can see, the makeup is very natural, but it has a little oomph to it. And oh, I actually forgot one part. So my a trick that I do with the lipstick is I kind of want to like complement my face with the lip on my the color on my lips. So I'm just gonna kind of tap the lipstick and put a little bit on my cheeks here. Put a little on my cheeks and blend it upwards like that to get that color in there and I'm gonna put some in my corner of my eyes and up corner of my eyes and up just to kind of compliment you see how the color kind of like flows into my face like that but also very natural very beautiful
Okay, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you really enjoyed the video, if you learned something, please remember to give me a big thumbs up. Like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can find me at Ramoia. And so you can see like how I wear this look. Let me know in the comment section what other videos you might want to see um, so I can know what to put out for you guys. Or if you have any questions about the hair or I guess anything, then just feel free to let me know. Okay? Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye. <laughs> Thanks. Peace. Okay, guys, if you see me in public, please don't pull off my wig. Because now you know my secret and whatever, so I don't know. Just don't do that. But you know what I said earlier? If anybody ever pull off my wig, I'm still going to look good. Yeah. Mm. Ah, I thought again. Okay, but don't do that, though.